Sixers, first thing you want to do is sign out. Scroll over to your system settings. Go down to memory. And go to your hard drive. And go to gamer profiles. Then select the gamer profile that you want to uh, mod. Click move and go select your uh, flash drive, your memory unit. And now it's on your flash drive and you will need to go to your computer next. See you there. Alright, so flash drive users, you want to have USB XDAF Explorer. Download is in the description. Uh, and also you want to have this, this io.dll which comes with the, uh, the download. You want to make sure you have that in the same folder as you're running USB XDAF. So right click and run it as administrator. File, open device. Obviously, you have to have your flash drive connected. Content. Click on this E000. And then, once you find that, there will be probably a lot of these things right like this. Because they're uh, game folders and with all your sa saved game data. But this is the one you want right here. FFFE071. Now click on that and go to 000 10,000 and you'll find this profile file data right here. And you want to extract it, I guess wherever, just so you know where it is. It's right there. And close that and then you want to go open up your uh, HatchGT editor or EasyGT and uh, get started with your gamer tag modding. Alright, so this part is for hard drive transfer cable users. You want to download and install uh, Export360 here. Right click and run it as administrator. Uh, make sure you have all the uh, .dll files you got in there, like I do. And it'll come up with a uh, little device loader here. It'll say Xbox 360 hard disk drive and the size. Uh, click on this little plus sign and then go to partition 3 and content. Now you see all these E000 uh, folders here. And I know this is mine right here. Um, a couple ways you'll know. Uh, one is by the games you played. See I got NHL 10 right there. I know I've played that on this profile. So... Another way is when you actually get into the Gamertag editor, uh, you'll see your profile. And another way is when you get your profile data, you'll see the size of it. Alright, so what you need is FFFE07 D1. And click on 000 10,000. And here is the file. And you just want to drag and drop that onto the desktop. I already did it. So I'm just going to right click out of that just so I don't do it again. And now hard drive transfer cable users, you are ready to mod your gamer tag. So skip there. Okay, so now we will mod our gamer tag with either EasyGT 2.2 or Hads GT editor. I prefer Hads GT editor. Uh it's got clan tag editing. You can do that. It's pretty cool. Um so what you want to do is right click and run them as administrator with all these components that you have in here this x360.dll um, it will not work if you don't have them in there so make sure you have all this stuff all that, all that good stuff so right click and run them as administrator I'll do both for you open find your profile there you see mine right there I'll open it up on heads there you go I'll do this one first because heads takes a minute to load but I will add some colors here I'll do it I'll do an X back button, add a color, add another color, 
start and an X. See, that'll look pretty cool. Um, if you want to make multiple modded profiles, I already have a couple, so I have to change this. Pay attention if you're going to make multiple. Switch this number at the end before you save it. And file save. I guess to your desktop. And there it is, you see right there, and this last character right here is changed, so you don't have to overwrite any uh, profiles that you drag and drop it into on the content part. So you're done with EasyGT 2.2. Let's move on to heads. I will, I'll do a different one. I'll do, hmm. I'll do an X. Do a left D pad. Just do some some weird symbols. People will be like, "What? Who is this kid? Get him out of here!" You know, just make it look all cool and sorts. You know what I'm talking about. Just fool around with it. You know. Add some colors. Yeah, that's where it's at, peeps. This one you don't have to worry about doing uh, any other um, stuff, you know. You don't have to change anything. It just saves it. I'm going to mod my clan tag. You know, won't let me put that in the uh, regular game, but that's stupid. Doesn't refer to anything. Maybe neg, you know, black people. I mean, it does. It doesn't suggest anything. I'm just gonna file save to desktop, and there it is. No rehashing or resigning. There you are. Now you just have to put it on your device. Alright, so hard drive transfer cable users. Uh, now you want to get these file folders here and drag and drop them into content. You'll see all the E000 files here. I'm just going to do that right quick. And you won't be able to do this if you do not have your user account control turned off. So I'll show you that right now. This is for Vista users. Go to Control Panel. And if you don't have uh, user account control turned off and you see that little uh, crossed out uh, circle, I guess, um, you will need to restart your computer. Um, just go to User Accounts and Family Safety and then go to User Accounts and turn user account control on or off. You can uh, uncheck this box here and then click OK and it'll say you have to restart. Um, if you have like Windows 7 or XP, I don't know what you have, but search on YouTube uh, with your OS and uh, how to turn off user account control. And you should be good. Then you'll be able to do that. All right. So now you just have to load up your 360. All right, now flash drive users, just right click and run USB XTAF as administrator again uh, with the io.dll. Open device content, and right here is where you want to drag and drop your file folders that you modded with uh, the gamertag editors, and just drag and drop them into this this area right here and I'll allocate space for them and there you go you're done now all you have to do is put it back into your Xbox and I guess move them if you want but there you go USB flash drive users you are done alright so you just want to sign out of everything when you get to your Xbox uh, start up Modern Warfare 2 Don't sign in. 
just go all through this. No. Multiplayer. Continue to multiplayer. And uh, you'll have to uh, reset your, um, I guess, your sensitivity and your brightness and all that stuff. However you liked it. Um, click OK once you got into multiplayer and try to go into Xbox Live. And sign into one of these weird looking profiles. I'm going to sign into this one. Now just click the guide button to get out of that avatar thing. Uh, click OK once you try and go into uh, Xbox Live again. And then scroll to your, uh, your gamer tag, your legit gamer tag that you edit it. and then go into uh, Xbox Live. And then you see there, I have some uh, crazy, crazy looking gamer tag right there. Have fun.